Hey, it's Justin Chamnus, and I'm coming at you right now with another episode of Will You Know What to Do? That's right. I'm going to present seven deals tonight. I held up six. <laughs> I'm not feeling too good today, everybody. I'll just let you know that right off the bat. I'm working on something. I don't know what it is, but I'm kicking its ass. All right. And uh, I've got seven deals tonight. <laughs> and I'm going to show them to you. I want you to be able to decide what creative real estate strategy fits. Hey, thanks. Somebody said I had a nice haircut. I appreciate that. Thank you for noticing, by the way. Hey, the chat is open. All right. Nice to see you, everyone. Thank you for being here. The chat is open. So, Feel free to go ahead and uh, introduce yourself. Let us know who you are. And, and in fact, um, you know, if uh, if I don't know you, that's even better because then then we'll get to know one another. <laughs> if I know you, that's even better because we already know each other. We can just really start to have fun. So let me know who you are in the chat. Let me know who's watching. And also um, get prepared for this live stream by going to shutupmoney.com. All right. That is my website, shutupmoney.com. And you can pick up from there for free tonight. I've got a, I've got a new, I've turned what we've been working on recently into a, a course. It's pretty cool. It's not a real long drawn out course, although it looks pretty big. The video modules in it are five, 10 minutes long, and it covers every specific deal type. Now, what I'm referring to here is, is the, the, the wholesaler's favorite cash money offer discount, right? It, I cover then subject to, I cover what is that and how does it work? I give you the paperwork for it. I give you the, the disclosure for it too. Then we talk about wraparounds and I talk about the disclosure for that. All right. And then we talk about seller carryback subject to hybrids. And then we talk about, does anybody know the next one? <laughs> this is installment for deed, contract for deed. It could be called land contract. It could be called something else in the state in which you reside. All right. And then after that, we have lease purchase and then we have option. Okay. Or straight option. So let me see if I can share screens with you here. And I will... Uh, show you the cheat sheet that you can go get right now. All right. You should go get the cheat sheet. Let me see if I can find it here. Uh, don't know if I can find it yet. Okay. That's, that's all right. Hold on. I didn't open it yet. That's why. Durr. I told you I'm not feeling too good tonight. And, uh, there's a reason for that, I guess. Um, that for me being a little bit foggy. <laughs> All right, so let me see if I can share the screens again. And I'm looking for the chart. I can't find the chart. Where is the chart? All right, I don't know where the chart is, but I do have the chart open. You're going to have to take my word for it. Go to shutupmoney.com, all right, and sign up for the free course. As soon as you sign up for the free course at shutupmoney.com, you are going to get a you're going to get forwarded to the new course. Okay. And then on that front page, there's a cheat sheet. Just got to download the cheat sheet. It's free. Everything's free. Don't worry about it. I'm not here to charge you money tonight or any of that. All right. In fact, in the course, I've put the next course. So when you finish this course, if you want to upgrade to the next course, all you got to do is you decide what it costs. All right. I've taken the price tag off of it. I've just let you decide. You, you make a donation to the Justin, uh, the Justin retirement fund. <laughs> And uh, then I will definitely just immediately forward you to the next course. So really, if you want to start learning with me, there's really much, not a better time in the world to do it than right now. All right. So make sure you go to shutupmoney.com. All right. Actually, you know what? I do have the I do have the chart. It's just in a different location. Boom. Look at that. That's the chart. If you go look at the chart, everybody. All right. Go look at the chart. Go get the chart. I'll show you the chart throughout the night, but you're going to definitely want to go get the chart. The chart's going to change your life. 
And the reason I say that is not because it's got groundbreaking information in it that I've invented, because it's it's not. Let me let me tell you something, everybody. I don't care what the topic is, novations, this, that, the other thing, some new marketing thing, blah, blah, blah. All been done before. Like, I'll be real surprised if anybody can present any topic or anything in the real estate industry that ain't been done before. So here we all trying to make it look like we did something fresh. But in reality, this is shit that's hundreds of years, hundreds of years old. Right? So like, you know, frankly, um, forget about paying people thousands of dollars when this chart right here will take you a long, long way towards understanding what you want to understand in the creative real estate game. All right. Let me look at it a little bit closer with you since it's on the screen. Thank goodness. Okay, all cash offers, subject to, right across the top, wraparound, seller carryback. Sometimes it's a hybrid with a subject to, installment for deed, a lease purchase, a straight option. What's so cool about this chart, if you ask me, is if you slide down, of course, it tells you details about each strategy type, but you go to the question to ask the seller. Boom. You guys all know I'm big time on, I'm big time on the words. All right. I'm big time on the words. You guys know what I mean about big time on the words. Like I practice the words a lot. I'm so blurry right now, trying to bring it back into focus, bring bring you back into focus. <laughs> All right. So I think maybe it's my glasses. I don't know. Man, I'm, I feel like a, a mess tonight. All right. So um, it's good to see Joseph. Good to see Brian Jones here. Uh, it's good to see uh, some other folks watching. You want to get these questions off this chart, everybody. You want to get these questions off this chart. Look at this. Look at, look at this one, the, the installment for deed. Will you be the bank for us for a time? Will you take a small down payment and finance the rest for us? Okay, put it in your own words. In fact, if you want to be really, 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 really cool kid now, what you're going to do is you're going to take these questions that I have on this chart and you're going to go over to ChatGPT. You're going to plug it into ChatGPT and you're going to type, rewrite this question in 10 different ways. And then you're going to hit enter and it's going to make 10 different variations of each of these questions. Now, one of those I want you to pick and I want you to put it in your... I want you to put it in your text campaign as you send out text blasts to for sale by owners, for rent by owners, other lists that you get from PropStream, maybe failed listings, maybe or, or expired listings or, or almost expiring or almost failing listings. OK, whatever whatever list you pick. All right. I want you to follow the steps I just shared. Take one of these questions. Take the one I just shared. Will you be the bank for us? Will you take a small down payment and finance the rest for us? I guarantee if you send that message out in bulk form today to just regular old for sale by owners, you're going to get some yeses. Okay. Well, Justin, is that what you're doing? No, no, it's not. Well, what do you mean that's not what you're doing? Well, uh, no, I'm not doing that one. I'm doing the lease purchase question. See, if I pay your monthly PIT, I cover all repairs where you allow a 12 plus month lease and allow us to purchase within that time frame. All right, that's the one I picked. I like lease options as my entryway. It's my gateway drug. Okay. It is a lease options is a gateway drug. All right. So you will want to pick one of these. Pick the one I picked. Pick lease options. Pick the installment for deed one. Okay. Pick the wraparound one. I don't care. Are you okay with us taking the house off your hands and making a payment to you to cover your PITI? If you sent that message out in bulk, you probably have to send more of those. You're going to get a yes. Right now, you're going to get a yes. Okay, so go over to shutupmoney.com and sign up for right now before we start breaking down these deals. I got seven deals, y'all. I am loaded for bear. We are not even messing around tonight. We are not even we are not even playing tonight. I don't feel good, so we ain't playing. We're just gonna get right to it. All right. I want to give you a minute to 
collect your. Uh, that's why I'm talking. I'm giving you a minute to collect your 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 uh, your thoughts. I want you to collect the cheat sheet, and then I want you to be prepared to tell me as I present deals. Are they going to be all cash dis offer uh, discount offers? Okay. There are videos in the course. Yep, lots of videos. All cash discount offer. When I present deals, will it be that? Will it be a subject to? Will you offer this sell? When I present the, the deal, the scenario with the seller and the deal and the address and all, I'm going to present the deal. All discount cash offer. Is that is that the wrench you're going to apply to the nut? I'll be the nut tonight. Are you going to apply a, dish ca a, a discount, a discount cash offer? Are you going to apply the subject to wrench to this one? Are you going to be the wraparound wrench guy? Are you going to be the seller carryback wrench guy? Now, why am I talking like a, like a wrench? Because all these are just tools. They belong in your tool bag. You're only going to pull them out when the situation calls for it. To a hammer, everything looks like a what? Put it in the chat. To a hammer, everything looks like a what? <laughs> you guys already know that. That's common sense, isn't it? Mm, you got to be careful now with common sense. Mm -hmm. But to a hammer, everything looks like a what? Mm, like a fingernail. I have smacked mine. One time I was hammering. And you know how you hold the, the nail like this and then you, you hit it like that and you miss the nail because you wasn't paying attention and you smash your thumb and you're in such a groove with it that you pull back and you smash it a second time? If you've ever done that, go ahead and put that in the chat too because, brother, you're not alone. I've done it too. <laughs> to a hammer, everything looks like a damn nail. That's right. So how about this? What if we switch the old saying around and we say, to an ugly house discount cash wholesaler, everything looks like a discount cash deal, <laughs> right? All right. So what's it going to be? I'm going to present the deals. It's going to be a cash offer. It's going to be a subject to a wraparound, a seller carry back. Maybe it's going to be an installment for deed, contract for deed, whatever you call it in your state, an executory contract, lease options or lease purchase or straight option. All right. We're not going to go through what all of them are. We're just going to go right into the deals. All right. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and set the, uh, the alarm here for, uh, two minutes. And when two minutes up, I'm going to present the first deal, the first deal, which deal, which, which strategy is going to fit the deal. Okay. You're going to want to put your answer in the chat. All right. This is what this is about. This is chat. <laughs> So put your answers in the chat because sometimes there's more than one right answer, everybody. Sometimes there's more than one wrong answer. All right. I'm just letting you know. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to get, we're going to get the leads flowing in here in just a minute and 20 seconds. Um, somebody's asking me a question. Can you make a 7K fee in $207 a month cash flow? I, I'd like to. I, do you have a deal that we could do that on? Because I would say yes. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand all of the questions. Uh, there might be details there I'm missing. But yeah, see, the point is, is get leads. Number one, how do you do that? Well, it's not that hard now. Okay, if you're if you're like, well, I'm spending thousands of dollars on direct mail every month. Hey, good for you. Hey, if you have a shitty month and you're gonna, will you let us know when that happens and you've lost thousands of dollars on marketing that didn't work? Oh, don't let me step on your toes. Don't let me step on your toes. Marketing needs to be affordable. Marketing needs to be consistent, affordable, predictable, effective. And it must produce people with, that want to do business, that want to talk. All right. I've got ways of doing this. They're cheap and easy. And I'll share them with you. They're in the course. Okay. So learn with me. Learn with me. Okay. Time is up. 
Time is up. All right. Deal number one coming out right now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Deal number one. All right. Here it comes. 148. Wapaho Lane. Wapaho. <laughs> I don't know. 148 Wapaho Lane, number 54. You ever get a lead like that? I sure have. When I get a lead like that, the first thing I think in my mind is, is uh oh. Now, here's what the homeowner says I'm ready to sell my mobile home. It's old, but still a good home for somebody. 148 Wapaho Lane, number 54. I'm ready to sell my mobile home. It's old, but still a good home for somebody. The details, this is a 1981 mobile home. The ARV is $28,000. The repair bill on this seasoned manufactured home is $17,000. The asking price is only a mere seven grand. Hmm. Hmm. Do creative real estate investors get deals like this? Do they get leads like this? Oh yes, oh yes. What's the first thing we need to think? Come on, this is what we're doing. We're working through leads so we know what to do, what strategy fits. How are we gonna think through these? If you sweat in practice, you can shine in public. Okay, so let's sweat a little, let's sweat. Girl, I want to make you sweat. Come on, 148 Wapaho Lane, number 54. I'm ready to sell my mobile home. It's an old one. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie. All right. What do we put as far as strategy goes? All cash offer, subject to mortgage, uh, wraparound mortgage, seller carry back, installment for deed, a lease purchase, or a straight option, or perhaps something else. If you've got another idea, go ahead and put that in the chat. Put that in the chat, all right? We have two minutes, put it in the chat, and we will discuss details and exit strategies in two minutes. Whoa! <laughs> all right, whoa! We got people disagreeing in the chat. Ah, this is what I was hoping for. Woo! Remember I told y'all tonight was gonna get tougher. Yeah. Well, it's tougher than last week. This one's easy. This is gonna get hard. Okay. You might be like, well, last week, I missed that last week. Well, it's in the course. Put it in the transaction engineer course, the free course. Okay. Property deal, 1981 mobile home. ARV 28,000. 17,000 repair, asking price 7,000. Hmm. Let me give you a hint. Can I give you a hint? I'll give you a hint. Okay. We have a lot of people putting in different answers. And you know what? There's some good ones in there, man. Woo! You guys have got some good answers in there. Because absolutely, there's there's more than one way to think about this bad boy. Yeah. Here's a hint. Mobile homes that are on wheels. In other words, they're not on their own land. If they're on... A, a lot in a mobile home park like this one and how do I know that well I talked to the homeowner but also because it's 148 Wapaho Lane number 54 when it has wheels on it and it's not on its own foundation it trades like a car it trades like a car that's right you buy and sell mobile homes that do not have their own land. They they have a title like a car and you take it down to the DMV 
and you transfer it over and all of that. Because it's a trailer. Got wheels. Okay, that's what we're looking at. It's on a lot in a mobile home park though, but it's not on its own land. So it's gonna trade like a car. Let me give you a story. One time I was standing in my, uh, my in-laws front yard at the time, and there was this car slowly driving up the street and it stopped. I was out in the front yard. I don't remember what I was doing. I think I was eating grapes. Concord grapes off of a grapevine. Beautiful exercise in in life to do. If you ever get a chance to eat warm Concord grapes right off of a grapevine, oh wow, it is, there's nothing like it. It's God's candy. All right. Here's the thing. Car driving slowly stopped. Rolled down the old window. Hey. You all know anybody that wants a free house? You guys are like, get out of here. That did not happen. Oh, it did. Why did that happen to me? Well, one, because I have a good positive confession about my life that I win stuff and good things happen to me. And secondly, because my in-laws lived in a mobile home park. It was a nice one. Man, there's some really nice mobile home parks. They lived in a nice one. And somebody else that had a mobile home in that park was driving by, saw me in the yard, rolled down the window. Hey, do you know anybody that wants a house? I can just give them mine. 148 Wapaho Lane number 54. This person knows they've got a piece of crap. Okay. <laughs> So you're not gonna wanna take over any kind of responsibility because number one, you're gonna have to deal with the lot owner and he is the kingpin in the deal and he's not gonna be okay with you doing any kind of lease purchases, most likely not gonna be okay with a lease purchase, not gonna be okay with a rent to own or any of that kind of stuff. Probably not gonna be okay with any kind of owner financing where the deed doesn't change, where the title doesn't change over. You're gonna to have to go down to the home office or the front office for the mobile home park. You're gonna to have to apply down there to make sure it's okay that you can do business in the park. You're gonna also probably have to do a background check and do all that stuff as well. And then you're gonna to have to you know, have your buyer, if you do get a buyer in the park or to move into the park, pay you money let's say you do an assignment of some kind you're gonna have to have them go to the mobile home park owner and then do a background check and credit screen and an application and get approved and all that then they're gonna have a payment to them as well Woo! I pass on these personally if it's in a mobile home park too much too much work the kingpin in the deal in a mobile home park is the mobile home park and they are gonna make sure that it stays that way. So here's what happened, if you wanna know the truth, okay? I said to the lady driving by, yeah, I'm interested, what you got? Why, cause I ain't no dummy. She said, you going to free house? I said, yeah, what do you got? I walked over to, up to the street and talked to her. She gave me that mobile home about five doors up. I put a lease purchase tenant buyer in it. I now own it, I have the title on it. Did I go down to the home office and apply? No, I didn't. Did I know to? No, I didn't. Nobody told me, that wasn't in my studies. I didn't learn that, I didn't learn that in lease options school. So I didn't go down to the office, I just did the deal with the lady. And then I put a tenant buyer in there and did they go down to the office? I told them to. Did they? No. Did they give me some money? Yeah. A little bit. Did I make a little bit of money? Yeah, sure. What happened next? The mobile home park guy got pissed off because I was making money on his land and he wasn't making any of it because nobody went down there and checked in with him. And you know what he did? He sued me. Yeah. And you know who won? He did. 
So I avoid mobile home parks because that's already somebody else's game. Okay, so let's talk about this though while we're here. Now you guys, do you like me sharing with you the good shit and the bad stuff too? Because that's what life's like. That's what this business is like. Okay. So hopefully you can learn from some of my mistakes. I try not to do mobile home parks. Now let's say this was not 184 Wapaho Lane, number 54. Let's say this was a 1981 manufactured home sitting on its own lot out in the country in a county setting someplace. Oh, I'm all about it. Give me more. More! Feed me! Okay, because I like those. Those are money. <laughs> How do you know they're money? Because they're cheap, affordable housing and everybody wants it. A 1981 trailer on its own land? Oh, yeah. I'll make three grand, 3500 on it by the end of the week. Okay, that was deal number one. Did you do pretty good? Did you get the deal? Did you get the deal? Did you offer a all cash? That would work. You could do all cash, but you got to be aware you got to play ball with the mobile home park people. You would not want to do a lease option. Okay, this is a junky, crappy trailer. Just get it. Just get it and get on. Okay, you don't pay lease options for junky junk cars. You would not do a lease option with this junky mobile home either. You might do what Joe says and give him a couple grand moving money. Get out of here. I'm going to take the deed and then I'll go up to the mobile home park and we'll square it away. Okay, you might play it that way. If you're me, you avoid the whole thing because you don't like mobile home park people. Okay, and I'm not saying mobile home park people are bad. I'm just saying it's it's the whole scenario is wired to be in their benefit, not yours as the investor. Okay. All right. You guys ready for deal number two? Are you ready for deal number two? That was 148 Wapaho Lane, number 54. Now we're going for another, another property deal. All right. Property deal number two. How'd you do? Put it in the chat. How'd you do? Did you do okay? Was that tricky? Was that first one tricky? If you thought that one was tricky, go ahead and put tricky in the, uh, in the chat, because I want to know if you thought that one was tricky. Excuse me. You know, I know that it's going to be harder tonight than it was last week. But here's the thing. You're going to run into these. OK, you're going to run into these a lot. All right. Here's the next property deal. Are you ready? All right. Here we go. Two minutes before we start getting your answers in the chat. Go ahead and put your answers now, but we're going to discuss your answers in two minutes. 7845 Lemming Court. Pretty house in pretty decent shape. This is a lead you got today. It needs basic cosmetics only. Mm, that's nice. Here's what the homeowner had to say about it. I'll tell you what. You bring me a check for $5,000 and you can have this house. I don't care what you do with it. Have you ever heard that? I have many, many times. That is what a motiv motivated homeowner sounds like. If you think a motivated homeowner sounds like this, yeah, I'm going to need $25,000 down and I'm going to need that up front, um, skin in the game. And I'm also going to need you guys to take over all the repairs and give me $40,000 over fair market value. And then I'm also going to need like you to uh, do it on my time frame. Not motivated. 7845 Lemming Court, motivated. Big difference. I'll tell you what, you bring me a check for five grand, you can have this house. I don't care what you do with it. I've had them say that exact thing to me. Here's the deal. ARV, $480,000. $10,000 in repairs. That's light. That's light. That's cosmetics. Seller's mortgage, $400,000. That's what he still owes. $400,000. His payment's $3,400 a month. P-I-T-I, -I, payment interest, taxes, insurance. He's asking $415,000. Remember the ARV is $480,000. He's asking $415,000. It needs 10 in repairs. He only owes four hundred, dollars And he's willing to say his payment's $3,400. And he says, just give me five dollars and you can have this house. I don't care what you do with it. 
Okay. All right. What do we do with 7845 Lemming Court? Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. We have to decide what to do with 7845 Lemming Court. I'll tell you what. You bring me a check for $5,000 and you can have this house. You can have this house. You got one minute left. One minute left before this seller hangs up the phone with you and calls me. And you know that's how it works. You know that's how it works, right? If a, if a motivated homeowner contacts you and you kind of don't know what to do and you kind of get back with them all slow and you don't really know what kind of offer to start out with, you don't know what kind of questions to ask, they're going to call me and I'm going to hit it right out of the park. Okay. So that's why we're practicing because I want you to hit it out of the park. All right, in, in less than 20 seconds now, we will discuss the answers to 7845 Lemming Court. Pretty house in pretty decent shape, needs cosmetics. 415,000 is what he's asking. The ARV is 480. He owes 400. What do you do? What do you do? Mmm. Time's up. Time's up. We've got several answers in the chat here several answers are appearing in the chat and i know there's got to be some other thoughts there's got to be got to be some other opinions too other than lease purchase or a lease option is a lease purchase or a lease option what we want to do on this one somebody help me out let's discuss this this is a mystery Okay, 7845 Lemming Court. I'm I'm personally not going to do a lease purchase. I'm not going to personally do a lease purchase. It's going to be one of these, but it's not going to be lease option or lease purchase if you're me. Okay, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because, oh, we got seller carryback popped up in the chat now. Hmm. Let's think about it. Let's think about it. You guys, is that the final? Is that your final answer? <laughs> is that your final answer? Sub two, somebody says. All right, good. That's good, 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 good. We got lots of different varieties here. We got lease options. We got seller carryback. We got subject to. Okay. Let's look at what the homeowner said again. I'll tell you what. You bring me a check for $5,000 and you can have this house. I don't care what you do with it. That's not a lease option talking. That's not a lease option talking. What is it? What is it? Well, we've had several suggestions. We've had lease options suggested. And a lease option, that could be a pretty house, so that would work. It could be that the down payment, I mean, that we're going to transfer the deed later. That sounds like... Really, it sounds like the seller doesn't care if the deed transfers now or later, doesn't it? Let's see, seller's mortgage. Seller pays thirty-four hundred, and he owes four hundred. And he said, "Give me five thousand, you can have this." Okay, um, it looks reasonable. Payment to seller, and at least purchase, we'd be making a payment to the seller. Hmm, this is where it starts getting really sketchy. Okay, it starts getting really sketchy right here. Because if we make a payment to the seller in a lease purchase and then he pays the mortgage and the PITI and stuff, do we want to trust a guy that says, hey, I'll tell you what, buddy, you just bring me a check for five grand and you can have my $450,000 house. I don't give a rat what you do with it. Do you want to send that guy money? Do you want him making the payment on your investment deal? that you put a tenant buyer in there and they trusted you. Do you want to do a lease purchase? You want to think about it for a second? <laughs> I don't trust this guy. All right. So I'm not going to do a lease option. We also saw in here a seller carryback. Well, let's look at that. 
both ugly and pretty houses, so that works. It's a pretty house. It, now or later, it doesn't seem like the seller cares if the deed transfers now or later. The seller's mortgage, the seller's going to continue paying the mortgage. That's fine. It's a payment to the seller. Oh, I'm going to have to make a, make a payment to the seller on a seller carryback, too. All right. Hmm. Probably not going to be a seller carryback. And it wouldn't be a seller carryback subject to hybrid either. The reason why is because in a subject to you would be making the payment, the $400,000 mortgage payment here of $3,400. And then in a seller carryback hybrid, you would also be making a second payment to the homeowner. Okay. Well, that's not what's happening here because he only wants five grand and he's going to walk. He don't want payments. He just wants cash and gone. All right. So the only logical solutions are really the most logical, I would say. Not all, but the most logical would be what someone said in the chat subject to the existing loan with a $5,000 down payment. Now, look at what would happen if you were to do that. If you were to offer this homeowner $5,000 down, you would give him exactly what he's asking for, correct? Correct. If you were to take over the mortgage, you're picking up a $480,000 home for $400,000 with no bank qualifying. You're going to maintenance the payment of $3,400 a month. And you can probably either A, wholesale this one. Let's talk about exit strategies. If we're going to, sub let's, let's do that. Let's just assume we're going to subject to this one with a 5K down payment. Okay. Are you guys with me? If you're with me, put it in the chat. Are you hanging with me or have I lost you? All right. I know we're going a little slower than I anticipated tonight, but that's all right. We're studying here. We're working. All right. So let's, I feel better right now than I felt all day. Okay. You guys are feeding my, you guys are scratching my itch, my real estate itch. Look at this. All right. If we do a subject two with a $5,000 down payment, is that exactly what this guy needs or is that going to do the deal? Is that not going to do the deal? And if we do that, what kind of exit strategy are we talking about? It could be a wraparound, Joe. It could be a wraparound. You're right. Let's let let let's can, I'm sorry, we're going a little slower, but can we dissect this a little further? Okay, because you know, Joe brought up wraparound and look, look at the details again. Okay, now let's pull up the chart and take a look at wraparound. Wraparound, both ugly and pretty. Okay, this is a pretty house, so that'll work. The deed transfer is now. Ooh, I like that, Joe. That's good. Because the seller is going to walk. He don't give two rats. So we're going to get the deed. The seller is going to continue to pay his own mortgage, though. And we're going to send him money in a wrap. Ooh, do I want to send this guy who just told me, I'll tell you what, you bring me a check for five grand and I'm going to disappear. I don't give a shit what you do. Okay, I know I just tra I, I know I translated that in country boy terms when he said, "I know I'll tell you what, you bring me a check for five grand, I'm gonna disappear on you." I'm just telling you that's what that means. Okay, I've lived enough life to know that's what that means. So I would have to pass on a wraparound on this one. I think the best strategy to use on this one is a subject to with a five thousand dollar down payment. Now, what if you could negotiate him down on the five thousand? probably couldn't it's pretty cheap i mean after all for crying out loud you're getting a four hundred eighty thousand dollar house for five thousand dollars and taking over a four hundred thousand dollar mortgage you're getting eighty thousand dollars in instant equity probably another four or five six hundred dollars in cash flow if you're smart five grand you can't Hey, I know this ain't hashtag free houses, but this is hashtag $5,000 house and it's a half a million dollar house. And you getting it for five grand? What's a good exit strategy? Wrap around as an exit strategy. Okay, okay, Joe, I see you. You're coming up, you're coming up. What else could work as an exit strategy? Now, this is after you've got it under contract, subject to, now what are you gonna do with it? Joe says, sell it to somebody wraparound. 
Could you lease purchase it then to someone else? Sure you could. What about something else? Could you do something else? Sure you could. You could do a lot of different things with this property. You could definitely, could you fix this one up and, cause remember it needs like 20 grand in repairs. Could you fix it up or 10 grand in repairs and just retail the P out of this one? You guys know what I'm talking about when I say retail the Yeah. You're gonna put five grand in the owner's pocket. You're gonna put 10 grand in repairs into it. And you're gonna then sell it for the full 480. How much money are you gonna make? I don't know, but enough to go to Vegas for the weekend and then swing by the beach on the way home. All right, all right. Just throwing that out there, everybody. Throwing that out there. Let's take a quick a little break, and then we're going to get right back into the very next property deal right in about 60 seconds. On the back of your car. You can put it on the back of your car. I have to have a good lead. How about this? Cheap. Let's be either ready to either sell or rent. One or the other. And there's one more, you guys. They must want to talk to me. Wouldn't that be nice? You will have people call you. It's so effective. You will have people calling you, asking you if you take over other kinds of payments as well. All right, get the free creative real estate transaction engineer course over at shutupmoney.com. And we are going to, right now, pull up the next property deal. And we're gonna go for property deal number three tonight. What is the strategy that we want to use for it? Does anybody know? Let me pull it up. Here we go right now. All right. 2091 Quad Court. A later we'll be streaking through the quad. Everybody's doing it. This house was on fire. The seller doesn't live there because it's unlivable. Here's what the seller told you. Insurance paid the house off because it's a firehouse. And we aren't interested in cleaning it up and rebuilding, so we're just trying to sell what's left as is, where is. Here's the details. This property's after repair value, if it were after repaired, is $350,000. Mortgage is paid off, so you don't have to worry about that, but it was $140,000. The PITI, don't have to worry about that because it's paid off, but it was $1,800. Repairs, about $40,000 and fire damage. Asking $260,000. What do you do? What do you do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when a motivated seller runs wild on you? <laughs> you guys, if you're not over 40, you probably have no idea what the hell that is. <laughs> if you know what, the, if you're over 40, you're like, yeah, I remember that. All right, here you go. 350,000 ARV. Asking 260 needs 40k in repair. Firehouse. What do we do? What do we do? All right, start putting your answers in the chat. What kind of what kind of uh, solution might we have for this particular deal? An all cash discount offer, a subject to the existing loan offer, a wraparound mortgage offer, a seller carryback sometimes hybrid with subject to offer, a installment for deed or contract for deed offer, a lease purchase offer, or a straight option straight option all right let me know let me know what you think put it in the chat room and let's decide looks like brian has decided that this is a cash money deal he's gonna throw some cash at it see if that fixes the problem most of the time it does you're right brian i like it 2091 quad court house was on fire 
What do we do? What do we do? Is there anything we can do? Hmm. What fits? What fits? Are you learning anything tonight? Are you growing? Are these sessions helping you stretch? I hope so. They're helping me stretch. I like stretching. Stretching feels good. Right? You can't stay. You can't stay where you are. You gotta grow. Okay. What about a straight option? Would that work on this one? Hmm. I'm gonna have to say yes. <laughs> straight option would work. Would a lease purchase work on this one? No. No. Why would a lease purchase not work? Why would an installment for deed really not be preferred? Why would a seller carry back sometimes hybrid really not be preferred? Somebody comment in the chat. What do you think? What do you think? We're going to discuss all your answers in 40 seconds. 40 seconds. All right, let's go ahead and switch the music. <laughs> I got this background music going because I feel like it makes it like a game show. Yeah, Jason's right. You can't put a tenant buyer in there, so you couldn't do a lease purchase because you would ultimately put a tenant buyer in there as an exit strategy, and you can't because they it's not even livable. So how are you going to do that? All right, we got cash, cash money coming in a couple different ways. A lot of y'all aren't playing with me in the chat, and it hurts my feelings. Time's up. Time's up. All right. Here's what I would do for this particular deal. I would definitely do a cash money deal. What's going on, Lou? Hey, hey, hey what's going on, man? Cash Sorry. money. What's happening? Good to see you, buddy. Yeah. Where are you at right now? California? I am indeed. You are indeed California. Sorry about San my Diego. background. But... <laughs> hey, no, you look good, man. It's good to see you. It's been a minute since I talked with you. I'm glad to glad to visit with yeah. you. Yeah. Sorry, man. I, I, I meant to. I meant to get back. I meant to uh, be there this morning, and I just couldn't make it. So here I am, late. That's so. all right, man. That's all right. Hey, man. I'm glad you're here tonight. Um, we're going over some different. Um, different property deals and determining what strategies fit best. You know, what's funny, Lou, is I thought about you when awesome. I was putting this together. Awesome. Say what? Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I I'm thought about now. you Thank because I was like, you know, this is, this is right up his alley. This is the kind of thing Lou is into. All right. So let's, uh, did we decide um, what that quad court was going to be? Did we decide that the house that was on fire? It's just got to be a cash money offer, everybody. That's just a cash money deal. All right. Can't do anything much different with that. All right. So let's move to the next property deal real quick. All right. Since we're running out of time. 62100 Lackluster Street. This is a blue collar house in a blue collar neighborhood. All right. They are saying this, they're, they're four months behind on their rent, or not the rent, but on the mortgage payment. And they say this, to, the, the homeowner said this to you over the phone, we really just want moving money and we will leave. The bank can have the house or whatever. Okay. All right. That's what the homeowner says. Now, I do hear this sometimes. Not every day, but I do hear it. You will hear this in this business. This is the business you're in, by the way. 62100 Lackluster Street has an ARV of 310,000. See down here at the bottom, 310,000. The mortgage is 180,000. The seller's payment is 2200 a month. The repairs are 2500. Here's the tricky part. This seller has a judgment of $40,000. And that's being put against the house. And then he has another lien on the house for $60,000. And his asking price is $290,000. Mm. Man, I told you it was going to get hard, y'all. We had a few people drop off drop off the, uh, the live stream here. And I'm thinking, A, it's getting late where they live. But B, maybe this is a little tough. Maybe this one's a little tough. 
What do you guys think about this one? I'm going to give you, we're going to take two minutes to describe or to think about this one. And I want you to put in the chat, what do you think would fit? What strategy would fit Lackluster Street? Lackluster Street. What strategy? Is it an all cash discount offer? Is it a subject to? Is it a wraparound? Is it a seller carry back or a, or maybe a seller carry back subject to hybrid? Maybe we get really creative with this one. What about an installment for deed? What about a lease purchase? What about a straight option? Straight option. Which strategy fits this seller deal the best? Mmm, this is hard. Gosh, this is a hard one. Okay, this is the hardest one tonight. This is the hardest one we're going to do tonight, I think. Okay, and we're probably going to do two, three more real quick. Yeah, two more real quick after this one. This one's a toughie. Nobody's putting anything in the chat because I've got you stomped. I got you stomped. <laughs> Why don't you put it in the chat? Stumped. Just put stumped in there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Brian Jones, I'll hook you up with the chart, man. It's going to be... It's in the chat. Uh, I'll put it in the chat room here in just a little bit. I know it'll be after the, after the fact, but I'll put it in our private chat here shortly. What would fit? Here's the here's the chart on the screen. What would fit this lackluster street deal? Hmm, nobody seems to know. Hmm, nobody seems to know. You know what I'm going to do? Time's up. Time's up. This is a hard one. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to screenshot this one, everybody. You know how to screenshot? You hit control, print screen, and then you can go over to like paint or something like that, and then you can paste it. And save it as a picture if you're on a computer if you're on your phone you know you just hit the power button and your volume button or whatever we got a couple people offering something here now we got cat uh maybe that was cash i think that was the last one brian says he's stumped talmage says lease option with me because making payments to the seller because i can't trust the owner DC says sub to the mortgage plus arrears. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, this is a hard one. Oh my gosh, that's a hard one. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to be mean to y'all. Can I be mean? Because we're getting so very little, very little activity on this one because this is a stumper. I want you to screenshot this one and I want you to work on it this week. This is homework. The 62100 lackluster is homework. Hey, we're going to do two more deals right now, but this one here, I want you to take it home and I want you to think about it. And then I want you to look at the chart. I want you to tell me next week, because we're going to do this one again. I want you to tell me next week, is this one cash subject to wrap around? Maybe it's a seller carry back hybrid. Maybe it's a lease option. Maybe it's an installment for deed. Maybe it's a straight purchase. I don't know. You tell me but I want you to work on this one this week, okay? Because this is not an abnormal deal. You will get stuff like this in your inbox if you are in this business. Woo! <laughs> screenshot that bad boy. So, all right, you guys ready for the next one? Let's screenshot that, all right? And then we'll go to the next one. All right, because we got 10 minutes and then this video's over. I'm going to close it down because I'm going to go eat. All right, let's do, let's do two more. Here we come right now with the next one. We're going to skip lackluster and we're going to do it again next week because you guys need to work on it a little bit while you're gone. All right, here's the next here's the next one. 321 Wiki Lake Park. I want to know how you got my information. And I'm never going to sell to a dirty bird like you. <laughs> I've had them say it like that, man. I've had them say some nasty things. You got to be hungry. I like that. I like that. James says pass on that last one, looks like. 
or maybe he's talking about this one, three, two, one, Wiki Lake Park. I'm not sure which one are you talking about passing on, but let's talk about three, two, one, Wiki Lake Park right now. I'm going to give you two whole minutes to decide. You ain't even need two minutes because this is a trick question. What do we do with this one? Three, two, one, Wiki Lake Park. Remember, we ain't got no details on it because is this guy really serious? He reached out to us to ask us how we got his information. And then he had the gall to tell us he's never going to sell to us, scam artists. He used some choice words in there, too. He hurt my feelings. He made me sad. He made me cry. And then I got over it and I went on with my life and I never thought about him again. Wiki Lake Park. What do we do with this one? Put it in the chat. We're going to close down the timer because you guys already know. What do we do with this one? And then we're going to do the last one for the night. What do we do with this one? All right. Put it in the chat. Straight option. Somebody said a straight option. Well, I don't know. This guy's this guy's a, what I would call. This guy's what I would call. Asshole. <laughs> Y'all were like, wait a minute, what's he going to say? He's an asshole, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this seller here. Now, you're going to get some of these, too. Now, why did I include this? Is this a complete waste of your time, almost, other than to go over a lead like this is reality? Because you're going to get some like this. So here's what you're going to do for me right now if, if you want if you want to help us all out. I need you to put in the chat room. If you're watching out here, so me and Lou can have it here in front of us. Because me and Lou, we're going to get some calls like this. And I need to know what to say to a homeowner when he asks me, I want to know how you got my information. How do you do it? What do you say to him? Somebody put a good comment in the chat right now. And I'll put it up on the screen. Can somebody put a good comment up on the screen? I'll put it up on the screen. Put it in the chat. What would you say to a homeowner that says, I want to know how you got my information. I'm not, no, I'm never going to sell to a dirty bird like you. What would you put in the chat? Okay. I see you guys talking it up in the chat. I love you guys. Thank you. All right. Any, anything, any comments, Lou? What do you think? What would you say to this? What, what would you say to this guy? Well, you know, I'd say, you know, information's on the internet and I, I thought I'd give you a call. How I got your information. Yeah. yeah, it's public domain. Yeah, yeah, it's public data. Yeah, that's what Nick Nick says in the chat too. Yeah, it's public data. Yeah, I mean, I found you found you online, sir. I mean, surely I'm not the only person that's called you. Google Jason Richter says Google public record. I don't know. My partner gave it to me. Okay, I don't know. My partner gave it to me. Who's your partner? That's a good question. When everybody ever asks me who my partner is, I tell them my mom. You know her? No? Okay. Yeah, you probably don't know her. Now, she, she might know you. I don't know. My mom gave you my phone. Gave you my mom gave me your phone number on a little piece of paper. I don't. I don't know. If she's. She knows I'm in real estate. So. What's your mom's name? Ah, you probably don't know her. All right. I mean, does it matter really? You're never going to do a deal with this guy, does it? Does it? Okay. Nunya mofo business. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one asking the questions here, buddy. Buddy. I like that one too. You know what? You don't you don't have to give a guy an answer. Um, that's part of the Fourth Amendment or something. I don't know. It's one of the it's one of your rights or something. <laughs> oh no. It's the fifth. You gotta plead the fifth and <laughs> not the fourth. <laughs> That's all kinds of messed up. All right, let's do the last one for tonight, and then we'll call it a night. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I really, really enjoyed you so much. Don't forget to go over to, real, to uh, shutupmoney.com and get that real estate transaction here course. If you're in my coaching club, I appreciate you guys. You, you're awesome. You're my inner circle, and I love every one of you. I'm going to make sure you get this. You also have this course in your back office as well, okay? So don't worry about that. Um, let's pop this last one right here. Boom. 2026 Eel Street. 
It's a pretty house. The seller must sell fast because he owes the IRS money. God, man. What's up with all these homeowners calling me with problems, man? But isn't that the business we're in? Aren't we in the business of solving homeowner problems? Okay, so we got to get, we got to stretch a little bit where these things look like we're not scared of them anymore. 2026 Eel Street, pretty house, seller must sell fast because he owes the IRS money. They are threatening to levy the house. And here's what the homeowner says. Lou, just pay me my equity and you can have the deed. Just pay me the equity I have in the house and you can have it. I don't care what happens after that. Just give me the money that I have in the house. Here's the details, the money details. ARV, 600,000. Man, these are some big deals, ain't they? Yeah, these, you know what? That's, that's kind of normal now. Okay, 600,000 ARV, mortgage that he owes, he still owes 200,000. He has a payment, PITI of 3,000 a month his repairs that he needs to do on the place to bring it up to that full market value of 600, he needs to put 10 grand into it. Okay. Asking price, 500 K 500 K. All right. So here we go. The last deal of the night, two minutes. What will you do? What will you do with 2026 Eel street? The seller must sell fast. He's motivated. He owes the IRS money and they're coming after him. They hired 86,000 new IRS agents and they gave him guns and he's coming after them. <laughs> I'm just kidding about that. They're coming after the, they're coming after this guy on Eel Street. He's got to get out before the IRS levies this house for a big amount of money, whatever that is. I don't know. He owes the IRS enough money that he's scared they're going to get his house tied up in it, and he don't want that. What do we do? What do we do? 600000 ARV. He owes 200000 His payment's 3000 He has ten in repair. He's asking 500000 He's wanting... What he's asking for, he's asking for a lot of cash. If you think about it, he's asking for his equity. He has at the purchase price, 500,000 and he owes 200,000. He has $300,000 worth of equity. Ooh, this is a toughie. Mm, that's a large down payment. If you were to make a $300,000 down payment on this one, woo-wee, oh, oh no. That's not going to work. What is this one? What is this one? Let's look at the chart right here, and I want you to start putting your answers in the chat. We're going to close up here in about three, four, five minutes tops, okay? What would you do to 2026 Eel Street? What would you offer? What would you offer? Please put it in the chat. Would it be an all discounted cash offer? Mm, would that work even? Let's see. He, he has repairs of 10 grand. He's asking five thousand, five hundred thousand. It's worth 600,000. Hmm, a cash offer might really work. Maybe, I don't know. Would we would we at least look at doing a cash offer? Would we at least run the formula to see if it fits? Probably. I probably would. Okay, what about subject two? Mm. Well, not with that big old down payment. Because he's gonna want two hundred three hundred thousand dollars in down payment, and that's that's just too much. Goodness gracious. I can't subject to that and put that much cash into it too and that's not an investor deal, I don't think. Mm. Wrap around mortgage, would that work? Would that work? Come on, we're coming to a close. Put it in the chat. Wrap around mortgage, would that work? Would a seller carry back and a subject to work? Hmm. What if the deed transfers? We take over the mortgage subject to 
the mortgage is two hundred thousand at three thousand a month. If we take over that and then we do a seller carry back for the two or three hundred thousand that he has, so it's not cash out of our pocket into his, but it becomes a second payment. So we take over the mortgage subject to, and then we create a second note where we pay him. Does that help him maybe get? the house off the chopping block from the IRS? Maybe, I don't know. We'll have to ask the guy if he's comfortable with this. But seller carry back hybrid with a subject to, seems like that might be a good fit. Installment for deed, lease purchase. Ah. Can somebody tell me why an installment for deed or a lease purchase will absolutely not work for this particular seller? Somebody, somebody. Hmm. I'm, and I'm not saying that I'm right in all these, okay? I, this is creative real estate. We're being creative here. We're thinking through deals and we're coming up with, with reasonable responses. Now we're, we have limited information and we don't know what fair market rent is and we don't know what cash flow is and we don't, okay, but based on the limited information we have so far, I'm trying to, to get us to start thinking like an investor would, okay, this is, this would not work as a lease purchase because blah, 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 blah. This would not work as a contract for deed because blah, blah. Why would it not? Put it in the chat. Why would it not work? as a lease purchase or a contract for deed or an installment for deed. Why will those not, there's one simple answer why that will not work on this deal. Yep, somebody put in the chat here that it's not going to work because he needs IRS cash. He does need cash, but here's the reason why a lease purchase is not going to work on this deal. And, and also a seller, I mean, a uh, owner finance installment for deed is not going to work on this deal. And here's why. Here's why. Let me show. Lease purchase on the chart says the deed transfers later. The installment for deed, it says the deed transfers later. That's what this homeowner is trying to accomplish is get the deed out of my name before the IRS comes and takes it from me. If he puts the house in your name, can the IRS come and get it from you? No. Because you don't owe him no money. He was slick enough to sell the house before they attached it. Okay. Are you following me? Are you following me? All right. So what you'll want to do is, is you'll want to offer this person a solution that transfers the deed day one. Okay. But you also need to meet his cash needs. Seller carry back. Subject to transfers the deed now. Seller carry back takes care of his payments and his money needs, his equity. Okay, he might say no because he wants all cash. He's an idiot if he does. Because ain't nobody going to give him $300,000 cash, probably. All right, so what I'm thinking here is a sub two seller carry back hybrid. Okay, now we haven't talked about those in these sessions yet, but seller carry back and subject to. So we're taking over the existing mortgage subject to, and then for his equity, we're going to create a payment plan which is a second payment going to the homeowner, okay? That is what I would be thinking across running across this deal. Okay, okay, are you guys with me? Did I lose you on this one? Okay, now we're gonna wrap up here, but I want you to remember that next week we're gonna come back to this and we are going to present this deal again. It's going to be Lackluster Lane. Lackluster Street. And I want you to tell me what works on this one. Now, see, maybe that last one we just did gives you some clues on this one. Okay. <laughs> just a thought. So, 
work on lackluster and we'll get back to it next week next week okay well i hope you enjoyed tonight everybody lou it's awesome seeing you thanks for hanging out with me i should uh i should have uh probably uh i had a hard time hearing you tonight with my headset i don't know if it was your microphone lou but i was having a hard time yeah. hearing you and your in your words when you were talking to me and oh, you mean uh, earlier I, I turned off yeah the light. so if Oh, well, okay. Well, sorry. I, I, w I wasn't trying to, uh, avoid talking to you. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm, I really, I'm really you. glad you're here, man. <laughs> I'm really thankful you're here. In fact, everybody that's out there, if you want to come in here next week with me and Lou, you're welcome to, because really it, the more the merrier. All right. I know everybody's in chat and all that stuff, but wouldn't it be fun if you were kind of in here with me too and, and Lou. So, um, Let's talk about more deals next week. I'm also going to be doing a class here soon on how to write a lease option deal every day. Um, this is something I've gotten pretty good at, and there's some tricks to it that I want to share. So guys and gals out there, this is a really, really advanced I'm gonna, the class I'm going to do on the writing a deal every day, it's a really advanced lease option, lease purchase strategy class. So if you're brand, brand new at this, that's going to be a little over your head. Stick with me for a little bit and I'll announce this, this class coming up, but, but I'm excited about it. But I, I don't want everybody to think, oh, well, I'm just going to get in and I'm going to learn how to do a deal every day. Well, that is the goal, but but not starting from zero. Okay. You need to have some theory knowledge of how all this works before you get into my, my advanced class over there. All right. Just a thought. Um, I'll let everybody know when that's going to happen next Wednesday. We're going to be back here, same time and channel, and we're going to have more deals and we're going to go through these deals and we're going to decide what strategies fit, whether it's subject to cash, lease options, options, you, you let me know. We'll talk about it, but we're definitely going to go over lackluster. I'm not surprised that you couldn't help me on lackluster, everybody. Lackluster's tough because it's got a judgment. It's got another lien. It's got an ARV. It's got repairs. It's got oh, on and on. He's behind four months. <laughs> what do we do with lackluster? Well, we're going to have to decide next week because we couldn't decide tonight. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. I will see you later. Hey, anything else you want to say, Lou? Before we clock out of here? No, no. I just want to get together with you outside of this so we can talk more and, uh, you know. Yeah. I'd love to. Yeah. I am yeah. ready for that, Lou. Okay. So you just holler at me anytime. All right. All right. We'll do. Promise. I will make time for you. You're one of my favorite people. All right, man. I'll see you. I'll see you next time, Lou. You bet. Thanks, Thanks man. Hey, I just used a few hundred dollars to take control of this property for seven years. Not subject to the existing loan. In fact, I've assumed no responsibility for the debt whatsoever. I also am not assuming any ownership responsibilities, but I'm gonna get to keep all of the passive income from this property. Wanna know how I did it? I'll show you. the balls to make the calls welcome back real estate enthusiasts are you ready to take your investing skills to the next level well i have some exciting news for you today get ready to learn the secrets of taking over house payments and doing as many deals as you want hi my name is justin chamness and i've been in the real estate game for years i've seen it all the highs the lows and everything in between today i'm thrilled to invite you to join me on a free real estate live stream every wednesday at 6 p.m pacific time 9 p.m eastern time during our live stream chat we'll dive deep into the world of creative real estate strategies and i'll present you with various deals and here's the twist you decide what to offer that's right you'll have the chance to put your knowledge to the test have you ever wondered which strategy to use in a particular situation? Should you go with an all-cash deal? Or maybe explore a subject to arrangement? Or perhaps lease purchase is the way to go? Well, you're in luck because we're going to discuss all of these strategies and more during our live stream. The big question is, will you know what to do when faced with different real estate scenarios? We'll cover it all. And at the end of each live stream, I'll reveal to you the answers you'll walk away with a deeper understanding of the best approaches for each deal.
But wait, there's more. Our live stream isn't just about me presenting deals and sharing knowledge. It's an interactive experience where you can connect with fellow real estate enthusiasts from around the world and share your thoughts and ideas, ask questions, and get involved in the discussion. So mark your calendars and make sure that you don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to learn and grow together. Join me on our free live stream every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. It's time to become a master of creative real estate strategies. Remember, the power to take over house payments and do as many deals as you want is within your reach. Together, let's unlock the secrets of real estate success. I'll see you at the live stream.